Hi, I'm Peter, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we'll cover how to use the portal template for creating world lenses. This template is a great starting point for creating lenses that allow users to enter and explore immersive 3D spaces. In this video, we'll edit the portal template by importing custom 3D content and scripting a simple trigger when the user enters the portal. Let's get started! First, open Lens Studio and select the portal template to create a new project. As you can see in the preview panel, the template comes with a 3D scene of a city hidden behind a portal entrance shaped like a robot. When you test this lens on device, you'll find that the glass doors to the portal open as you approach the entrance. Once you're inside, you can walk around and explore the city scene. You can also tap the button on the ground for a fun surprise. Before we bring in our own content, let's remove the default content by deleting the object named City Replace Me in the Objects panel. We'll also delete the resource folder named Portal Assets Remove Me in the Resources panel. With the template content removed, you should now see an empty scene view. Let's import our own 3D content to replace the portal. You can do this in the Resources panel by selecting Add New, Import Files. Navigate to the location of your model file, select it, and click Open. You should now see your imported model in the Scene view and in the Objects panel. You'll also see a reference to its assets in the Resources panel. I'm going to give the city's robots some life by setting their animation mixer's autoplay property to true. Now we can see the robots walking around doing their thing in the city. The portal template works by masking out the 3D content with an occluder mesh. This occluder mesh should be designed by you to custom fit your scene. In the model I just imported, this mesh is clearly labeled with the name occluder. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to give it a transparent material so we can see everything inside the portal that's meant to be occluded. When I lift the portal up slightly, you'll notice that there's a hole in the mesh. This is the hole that the user is meant to walk through. It also provides a preview of the world beyond the entrance for when the user is outside of the portal. I'm going to hit undo to put the occluder mesh back in place. As you can see in the preview panel, our imported occluder mesh is still visible and not masking out our portal content. We can correct this by telling the template's portal controller script which mesh we'd like to use as an occluder. To do this, Select the object named Portal Controller in the Objects panel. Click the field labeled Portal Occluder Mesh to edit it. In the selection pop-up, find the Occluder Mesh object, select it, and click OK. In the Preview panel, the Occluder Mesh is now invisible, and the 3D content inside of it is masked out. Notice that in the Scene view, the transparent material I signed earlier is still on the Occluder Mesh. This is because the Portal Controller script dynamically assigns the Occluder material at runtime, this allows us to view and edit content in the Scene panel while viewing the masked out version in the Preview panel. With our occluder set up, we can move on to adjusting our portal's boundary. The portal controller script keeps track of whether the user is inside or outside of the portal by checking the camera's position inside of the boundary box formed by two corner points. These two points are represented by two scene objects, labeled Portal Corner Min and Portal Corner Max. There are these red, blue, and spheres you can see in the scene view. As I mentioned before, these two points form a cube or prism-shaped boundary that the portal controller uses to denote the inside of the portal. With our content imported, we need to position portal corner min and portal corner max to match the bounds of our portal. I'll do that now. The positioning of these two points doesn't need to be exact. It just needs to represent what we consider to be the bounds of our content. In the case of our scene, I'm going to use the occluder mesh as a guide for the positioning of these bounds. You can also edit the portal controller script component to specify a gyro fallback. The gyro fallback is a stationary position which the camera will attach to if the user's device does not support native world tracking, like ARKit or AR Core. If you decide to not use a gyro fallback, the lens will instead fall back to Snapchat's surface tracking. Now that we've set up our occluder in portal corners, we can set up some interactivity for the portal. This model includes an animation which we can trigger when the user approaches. We'll do this by configuring the Approach Anim script component that comes with the template. The scripts used for this interaction, idleanim.js and approachanim.js, are similar to the scripts used in the interactive approach template, which you can learn more about in the Lens Studio documentation. 
The object's animation mixer already has two animations set up for us. They're named Wait and Door Open. To hook these up to the Approach Anim script, I'll select the Portal object in the Objects panel. In the Inspector, I'll assign Wait as the Idle Anim layer. Then I'll assign Door Open as the Approach Start Anim layer. Notice in the Preview panel that the Portal's door is open when the camera gets close. As I mentioned earlier, you can trigger events when the camera enters or exits the portal. You can set this up by editing the portal event script included in the template. You can find it in the Resources panel in the folder named Scripts. Let's set up our lens to play some music when the user enters the portal. To get started, let's create a new scene object that will hold our audio component. I'll name it Portal Music. Next, add an audio component to this new Portal Music object. In the Inspector, select Add Component Audio. Let's import some music in the Resources panel by selecting Add New, Import Files. Navigate to your music file, select it, and click Open. Now we can assign it as a track to our Portal Music object's audio component. Select the field labeled Audio Track. In the Selection pop-up, find your music resource and click OK. With our audio component set up, we can edit our script to play the music when the user enters the portal. Find the Portal Events script in the Resources panel and select it. You can either use Lens Studio's internal script editor or double-click it to open it in the script editor of your choice. The Portal Events script is a customizable script you can edit to control events triggered when the user enters or exits the portal. It comes with some sample code which we're actually going to delete for this demo. With the script cleaned up, we can add an input property for our audio component. Let's call it Music. The function named OnPortalEnter gets called whenever the user enters the portal. This is where we can add code to start playing the music. The function named OnPortalExit gets called whenever the user exits the portal. This is where we can add code to stop playing the music. Let's save the script and go back to Lens Studio. Before we can test the script, we need to connect our Portal Music Audio component to the Portal Events script. Select the Portal Events object. In the Inspector, click the field labeled Music. In the Selection pop-up, find the Portal Music Scene Object's audio component. Select it and click OK. We're now ready to preview the lens in Snapchat. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. You'll notice that when we approach the entrance, the door opens automatically. Once we step inside, we can hear our music playing. And when we step outside, the music stops. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching, and have fun creating your own portal lenses in Lens Studio.